Hey guys, it's RVA Hiker Girl, and today I wanted to do a video for you guys on hiking boots versus trail runners and why I switched. Okay, so before I get into hiking boots versus trail runners and the pros and cons of each, I just wanted to say take the time and make an investment for yourself if you're hiking and get a good shoe for you. It's shoes are highly individualized and everybody has different feet and different foot issues and you really if you're gonna spend money in one area with hiking I say the first thing to spend money on is a good pair of shoes okay so hiking boots so this happens to be an Oboss um, sawtooth boot and I'm comparing it with a trail runner today and this happens to be the ultra Olympus 3 so this one is 2.1 pounds and this one is 10.7 ounces so definitely this one is going to weigh more than this one um, also obviously you can see that you're going to get more ankle support um, from um, a boot versus a trail runner just simply because it goes up high and if you need ankle support well it makes sense that you want to get something that's a little bit taller and they have mid and tall um, hiking boots um, as well and um, obviously here no ankle support it's kind of low so um, boots tend to last a little bit longer they're a, a little bit more durable they're more sturdy and one thing about them though is that they're not very breathable and even though these are waterproof if you get these wet just because there's so much volume to these and they're thicker on the inside it's going to take a lot longer for these to dry out versus if you have a lightweight trail runner these you can walk through a creek with your socks on and these are gonna dry out pretty quickly. And these are more breathable. They allow your feet to breathe more than what these guys um, are gonna do. Um, as you can see from the difference here, oops, sorry. The Ultra Olympus, they have a wider toe box from here to here. And the hiking boots here don't, and I'll turn them around for you to see. The back side too and that's what ultra actually specializes in when it comes to um, promoting these shoes is the wide toe box so when your feet swell when you're hiking you have room your toes are not squished um, when you're walking and it, it allows your toes to spread out more for more um, comfort and as far as grip both of these have good grip and I know it looks like there's more grip here, but believe it or not, these guys have really good grip um, that are on the bottom. And these are Vibram um, soles, and you can go look up what Vibram means, but it's pretty expensive um, technology. So your boots, simply because they weigh more, are gonna be more clunky. They're bigger, and because they're bigger and more bulky, um, sorry, I got bugs biting me. Um, I personally feel like I can't go as far in these as I can these. Now, if I'm going to be in rocks, like rock scrambles and that sort of thing, I would prefer just the protection of this around my ankle. But if I'm going for a long distance, for sure, I stick with the trail runners. Um, on these, even though there is a thick sole, you will feel sharp rocks. When you get these new, there's so much cushion. If you guys can see how much cushion is in here, I mean, it, there's a lot. You really don't feel much of anything. Now, when they start wearing out, sure, you're gonna feel it. Um, these are gonna last longer. Um, it's recommended that you replace trail runners every 500 miles. Um, also, really, as far as, um, price and cost is concerned. They're both in the $150 range. Of course, you can find them on sale from time to time, um, but virtually, you know, the same exact price. Um, 
your foot is going to be um, elevated in these, so which means your foot is going to be sitting like this. Altra advertises that there's a zero gravity, which means there's no incline. Your um, foot is going to be completely um, flat, and they um, advertise that what that means is most of the shoes that you wear are at an arch, arch, and so over time that has weakened our um, calf muscles and our Achilles tendons, and they advertise that if you go back to a flatter shoe, that that helps strengthen um, those particular muscles. Um, so obviously this goes up higher too, so you don't have as much debris depending on your type of trail. Debris does get into hiking boots too, but again, they are a little bit taller. And these obviously are shorter on the side, so more stuff can get in. However, with both of these, you can buy gaiters. And gaiters basically attach to this little um, piece right here. And then there's a Velcro strap that you can, sorry all the dust was coming off of these from the last time I wore them, and you can attach it to here, and basically it protects this part of your ankle and it goes up. Same thing on these, you can do um, gaiters, and there's lots of different gaiters out there. Altra makes their own gaiters, Dirty Girl makes gaiters, um, Altra Research makes them, so lots of different companies um, that, that make them. Okay, so after talking about the pros and the cons, which one did I switch to? Uh, yeah, I switched to the Ultra Olympus 3. Several reasons why I did. Um, one, it's a highly recommended shoe by AT through hikers. Um, some of the ones that are currently on the trail and that have finished, they swear by the shoe. And, you know, I listen to other people's reviews um, for sure. The second reason is I was getting hiker rash um, pretty bad. And hiker rash is where, um, like heat rash. So my feet were not breathing. Um, and the re, not my feet, my ankles, because I was wearing a wool sock, um, a merino wool sock with these. And so the rash was about from here to here. And these are thicker, they're more insulated, and the merino wool socks are thicker. And I can't wear a lightweight sock with these. I have to wear a thicker sock. And it was pretty painful, and it took days and days for it to go away. So when I switched over, you know, I can wear a thinner sock um, with these. And my preferred sock right now are the Darn Tough socks. And if you haven't heard of those, go check them out. Um, online, Amazon, I mean, every outfitter will sell them and they have a lifetime warranty if they were to get a hole or something like that in them. Um, darn tough, we'll replace them for you for free. And um, so do I still get hiker rash with these? Yeah, but not nearly as bad. And it's just a little bit like right through here and it goes away much quicker. Um, the second reason, it's a lighter shoe. It just, it's 10.7 it ounces. I mean, it's a pound and a quarter or so lighter than what the hiking boots are. And when you're section hiking and you're carrying a heavy backpack already, you don't want anything else to weigh you down. I know we're living in a um, hyper light um, hiking world these days, but when it comes to shoes, if you can get something that's comfortable and lighter, do it. It will, you know, you'll feel it later on at the end of the day when you're in a lighter shoe. Um, the cushion, third reason. Look at the cushion on these guys. I mean, it is a lot of cushion. And I don't feel like the sharp pointy rocks as much um, on rocky trails with this shoe versus the hiking boot. And obviously when the tread starts wearing down and, and, and everything at the end of this shoe's life, I'm, I'm gonna feel it and then I'll just replace it, um, you know, in 500 miles. Um, the shoe's gonna dry out faster. Um, the hiking boots were staying wet for a long period of time, um, and while they're waterproof, eventually if you go in a stream or something that's higher than the boot, it's going to get wet. Um, so these, a lot of times, you can just walk through the, the creek or the stream in these, and they're going to dry out fast, or you can take it off completely up to you. But they do, and they're breathable. Um, so, yeah, that's why I switched. I love her. She's my new best friend. She's so amazing. Um, two cons um, for these. Um, the tongue, sorry I have a bug biting me, the tongue is not very tall on these. 
and I wish it was just a little bit higher like for a cushion here so um, that's one one reason one con sorry I've forgotten my other con so the other con is the colors so Altra if you're listening please make this shoe in some better colors there's not I think there's three color choices um, with this this is one in both men's and women's come in the same color there's a black with a neon green and there's a gray with a blue please make a solid black hiking shoe in the Ultra Olympus 3 please um, anyway yeah so the color choices and and that's one of the biggest complaints by people um, I, for my review um, this is an issue with these because they are fairly new. Um, there might be 50 miles on these, um, but uh, AT through hikers are saying that this piece right here comes unglued from hitting rocks and stuff. And while it doesn't um, hurt their performance, it's just annoying that the flap comes loose. Um, so if I have that issue, I will let you guys know. But anyway, yeah, my, my baby, I love her, these guys. Yeah, bye. No, really, I will still wear my hiking boots, maybe in the winter um, when it's colder outside um, and I want some extra warmth or again, when I'm gonna do some rock scrambles on a trail and I know that in advance. Um, but for, for now, she's my girl, so I'm gonna stick with her. So anyway, I hope this helps you a little bit in deciding which shoe might be best for you or if you have been thinking about switching um, you know, listening to this might help you, I hope. So, um, anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like or dislike if you didn't like this video at the bottom. And hey, subscribe to my channel. I'm always doing reviews, um, on products, tips, um, all kinds of things. I do hikes all over the state of Virginia and beyond, and I'm always posting about it. So anyway, subscribe to my channel and, uh, get some of those uh, notifications when I put out videos. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate um, all of my subscribers. You guys are amazing. Um, leave some comments below. Hey, tell me what your favorite hiking boot is or your hi favorite hiking uh, trail runner. Tell me what it is. Why? You don't like this shoe? Tell me why. Y you prefer hiking boots? Hey, let's have a discussion. I'm all about listening. <laughs> And plus, it helps everybody else in, in deciding. So anyway, thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.